Hello, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, babies, I pray all is going well for you today, this week, this year, this month. Babies, I just come to you, to my singles today, knowing that tomorrow's Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate it, but I know a lot of people do. I know a lot of you that are singles are uh, upset. You know, some of you are trying to hold it down and do the right thing, thing and try not to think about it and try not to let it stress you out. But some of you are concerned. You know, you've been single for a while. You've been waiting on God. You're like, God, where is my husband? Where is my wife? When are they going to show up? I want to be part of a couple. I want a relationship with the opposite sex. I want to have love in my life. So babies, I know that you're in warfare. I know the enemy is attacking like never before right now at this moment because of this particular day that's coming up, Valentine's Day. You know, this is the secular world's view of love. Their day that they have chosen to set aside for people to show people love in their lives. When a lot of them are just living a false perception of love. A lot of them don't even know what love is. So I want you to... Uh, Rely on the Holy Spirit to comfort you in this season. Allow God to comfort your heart. Lean not on your own understanding, but rest in God. Allow him to lead and direct your path. Allow him to order your footsteps. He knows. This is what I want to tell you today. He knows what you have need of before you have need of it. He already promised you. What he was going to do in your life. Some of you know that God has already let you know that he's going to give you a mate. You already know it. So you just have to wait on your moment and your time and your season. I can't say when that is, but God knows. You know, some of you are in that stage where um, he's preparing you for your mate. Some of you are just in the stages of letting go different things, situations, letting go different things about yourself, learning yourself, getting healed, getting whole. And some of you are ready. So for you that are ready, just be still and know that he is God and know that he has not forsaken you. Know that. For you that are being prepared, allow him to finish that preparation stage in you. Allow him to finish the work that he has begun in you. Allow him to finish it. Don't get frustrated. Don't get weary in your well-doing while you're being prepared. And the ones that's just coming into this season of singleness and waiting. You know, God cutting things off of you. God transforming things in you, in your mind and in your spirit. Just go through the race. Go through the battle. Continue to trust God. Continue to press into God. Continue to allow him to show you who you are in him. And I tell you, babies, when you least suspect it, God will bring that mate into your life. Because your mate is being prepared. Your mate may be already prepared and just waiting on God to say, it's time. It's time for you to come together. And some of your mates like you, are just coming into the season of singleness. So they'll get ready to go through that stage of cutting off and breaking off and going to that preparation stage. And they get to the point that you are ready for the mate. But babies, I just come to encourage you today, knowing that God knows. He knows where you are right now in this moment. He knows what he want to do for you. You know, his plans for you are good and not evil. He don't want you sad. He don't want you depressed. He don't want you worried. He don't want you stressed. All those are manifestations of the enemy trying to torture you, trying to keep your mind off of God, trying to get you out of faith and have you walking in fear. Babies, I don't care how long it's been. I don't care what it looked like. God knows. And he knows the plans he had for you. And they're not good and not evil. So, baby, just hang in there. Hang in there. Your day is coming. Your season is coming. Allow God to do what he needs to do in you. And just stand on God's word and continue to walk in faith. Continue to trust him that he's going to do what he said he's going to do. 
I tell you, babies, don't look at everything on the outside world because I know a lot of you do. Everything that look like it's happy, ho, ho, don't mean it is. So you want that thing from God that it will be happy, ho, ho for you. That you will have peace and you have joy in your relationships because so many people don't have that in their relationships. Some of these people that are in their houses are in natural prisons. They're in prison more than people that are in a prison. Their home is a prison. That's why some people don't even want to go home when they get off work. Some people don't even like the person that they're married to. They can't even enjoy them. They don't even have a friendship. Babies, you don't want to be like that. So don't rush it. Wait on God in his season. So that it'll be good for you. That that you want will be good for you. You want it to be good. You want peace. You want joy. You want the things of God in your marriage. Because then no matter what you go through, you got God, your rock that you can lean on. You're made to be a rock that you can lean on. They're not going to be bringing stress to you. You're not going to be living in a, in, a, in a house of a prison. Baby, you want that thing of God. So just be still and know he's God and wait on it. Be anxious for nothing. Ain't that what the word say? Be anxious for nothing. And I feel that some of you are anxious. You're frustrated. You're questioning. You don't understand. Just be still and know it's God. That's where faith come in at. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So many people, you know, they want to see it. They want to see it. They want that tangible evidence. But God already told you, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So when you walk in that faith, you're not going to see it. The substance is the hope without the evidence being seen. So keep your hope. Keep your joy. Which in turn will continue to give you peace in your spirit and in your mind. So that you won't be anxious for nothing. But in all things, you will rest in God and have that peace. Knowing that he will do what he said he's going to do. That you know that he knows the plans he had for you and they're not good and not evil. He knows. He knows where you're at right now. He knows where he got you at. Just go through it. Go through it with peace and joy and happiness and just rejoice with others. Rejoice with others and just enjoy God. Babies, I love you and so does God. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Hit share. Hit like. Let somebody else be encouraged today. Because so many people are depressed and discouraged because of what is coming up tomorrow, Valentine's Day. Some people have been depressed all last week because of Valentine's Day and them not having a boo a husband, a mate in her life. Some people got a boo in their life, got a husband and a wife. And they still depressed because of Valentine's Day. Because they know they ain't got that love. They know they stressed. But baby, you don't want to be stressed. You want to be blessed. So wait on God. And know that you know that you know that you know that he knows. That God knows where you're at right now. And he knows the plans he had for you. And they're good and not evil. Babies, I thank you for watching my videos. I thank you for all the people that encourage me and inbox me and ask questions. And, and you know, and just thank you. Just thank you. Babies, y'all be blessed today. Love you, sugar woogers. Smooches. And have a wonderful day. Knowing that you know, that you know, that you know, that you know. That God knows the plans he has towards you. And they're good and not evil. Smooch your sugar workers. Have a wonderful day.